Hey folks, this spring we're going to be confronted with high water conditions in our lakes and reservoirs. And that presents some specific challenges for trout, kokanee, and king salmon trollers. Think about it. High water means there's more water in the lakes and that means there's more water for the fish to get lost and hide in. So locating fish is going to be a challenge. Second, all that water that came into the lake likely came as a result of snow melt and that means the water is going to be cold and the fish may well be lethargic or at least more lethargic than they ordinarily are during the spring. Finally, all that runoff has particulate matter in it and that translates to stained water. That means the fish aren't going to be able to see your lures as well as they might when the water level is lower and clearer. So one of the ways I overcome these three challenges is by running flashers. Flashers work great all year long, but at no time are they better than in the spring when the water level is high and cold and maybe a little bit murky. The flash and vibration of flashers pull fish in from long distances. They come to investigate, they see your offering, and it's fish on. Now when I get home, I'm going to break out some flashers and we'll talk about some specific sets of flashers and how I might rig up with those flashers. Um, I'll see you back at the house, but just keep in mind, if you're struggling to catch fish this spring, break out the flashers and I guarantee you, you're going to catch more fish. But anyway, I'll catch you back at the house and we'll talk specifics. Howdy folks, I'm back home now and uh, Despite the fact that it was supposed to be sunny today, it is spitting rain. So I got my camera kind of up underneath my deck. So it's kind of dark and I got kind of a weird angle here, but whatever. Uh, my camera's dry. Let's talk about flashers. Here's the set of flashers that I was using um, when you saw me catch that king on Folsom this week. And these are actually, uh, they're pretty standard. I bought these from a fella on eBay, a nice old fella. Um, he makes them in his garage. They're a medium-sized flasher, and I'll, ju I'll just show them to you. They're they four willow leaves. Uh, they're chrome. They've got chrome tape on them. So you get a close-up of this blade here. So there's a lot of flash, a lot of vibration, pretty standard deal. they got the rudder there. And I, I believe these are made for walleye fishing, but they work great for trout fishing. And what I've got here is I was fishing a gulp worm on it. So I got about, I don't know. 20 inches, 22 inches, down to a, it's actually a finesse style black bass hook. And on this hook, you can put a threaded worm. Let me get this back on the rod here. You could fish a threaded worm, you could fish a grub, you could fish a gulp minnow, stuff like that. Um, typically when I'm using flashers, I like to go with threaded worms, the threaded gulp crawlers are great, or a spoon. I don't like to use plugs. I don't like to use anything that dives, and I like to use something that has at least some flavor and some action. When I put a worm on there, I always make sure I put it on there so it rotates a little bit. Um, what I don't want is a plug. I don't want something that's going to dive down below the flashers. So that's just kind of my rule of thumb. I try to run something that's going straight, either a grub, something synthetic like a, like a, like a gulp minnow or a gulp worm, a real worm, or a spoon. Needlefish, cripple lure, you know, whatever. Um, and I've run them as far as, you know, 36 to 48 inches behind the flashers, as close to, uh, to the flashers as 12 inches. I like that 18 to 24 inch range back there. Um, I don't, frankly, I don't really think it matters that much. You just want it in proximity to the flashers. And, you know, especially in a kayak, I don't want to be using a, a rig that's 11 feet long. So, you know, you got to consider this is as far up as I can reel. So that thing in, in total is probably about 48 inches long. So... Anyway, this is what I hooked up with at Folsom. These aren't my favorite flashers. They drag a little bit. Let me show you a couple other pairs that I use a great deal. I'll set this rod to the side here. So, where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Got all this, got all this stuff hung on my little fence here. Anyway, these are some of my favorites. These are the Rooster Tail Rooster Trolls. Now they're four blade flashers, just like the ones I was using, except you'll see here, let me bring them up close. You got one large, larger blade. You got three smaller blades. Got the standard rudder there and a, uh, a swivel in the back end. And that's where you attach your leader. Um, I like these a lot. Um, 
they're the genuine rooster tail blades. They're just like the blade on a rooster tail spinner. They're from Yakima Bait. Very low drag flashers. They're very effective. I use these a lot. They're really cool. Um, other ones, if you want to go light, are the uh, the Max Lure. You probably heard about these. You've seen me fishing before on the channel. Not this particular model, but these are the Max Lure flashlight flashers, and these are really revolutionary. They're not made of metal. They're they're rigged on cable, just like other flashers. But what you've got there is a series of mylar blades. Now, and a you know standard rudder, swivel on the end. These look kind of silly until you get them in the water. Those blades go back a little bit with the uh, with the water pressure. They put out a ton of flash. They're super light. They put out a bunch of vibration, but they're not made of metal. They, they weigh like next to nothing. So they're really cool. This is the uh, four blade model. And this is the one I actually use a lot. I, I wouldn't so much use this in the spring because I'm going for maximum flash maximum vibration in the springtime but throughout the rest of the year max makes a really convenient two blade version just a smaller version of the of the same thing get close up at that this thing is dynamite i've caught a lot of fish on this rig right here i've used this one i mean just look at that it looks like it's still brand new i've caught dozens of fish on that i've used this for over a year and uh, I can't say enough good things about the Max flashlights. They, uh, they just work. They just catch fish. Um, Got to get past how they look in the package. They look downright silly. But when you get them in the water, they work great. They look great. Very effective. One thing I added to these, and I think you should add it to all your flashers, and I think if you're listening out there, flasher manufacturers should add this as standard practice. Most of the time on the back of your flasher, you just are going to have a swivel, which means when you put your leader on there, you've got to tie it on. And what you see there is I've added a good size lock snap. And uh, that is something, if, if, you're, if the flashers you get don't come with a snap on the back, which you probably don't, um, go ahead and get yourself a package of lock snaps, open them up, snap those on there. It's a lot easier to change out your leaders. Um, as far as my leaders go, I don't tie them on the boat, just kind of on the side. I have one of those foam pool floaties in my backpack. I'll tie five or six leaders in the evening, put them on there, and use them throughout the season, replace them as I, as I need to. I like to tie my leaders from anything from low eight pound test at the low end, 12 pound test at the high end. I always use fluorocarbon. Um, just tip them with some hooks, whatever you think you're gonna be using and uh, then you're ready to go. They're all cut the link, they're, they're ready. Just pop them off, hook them on, put on your worm, and you are fishing. So anyhow, those are the flashers I use. There's a lot of different ones on the market. Seps makes flashers, Lord Jensen makes flashers. There's just a lot of options out there. They're all kind of the basic, they're, they're basically the same with small variations. The Max Lure ones are really revolutionary. So get yourself a couple sets of flashers this spring. Get them in the water and you're gonna catch fish. They just they pull fish into your boat. They're gonna make your whole spread more effective. I'm a big fan. They say I'm old school, but hey, I catch a lot of fish and I catch a lot of fish on flashers. So get yourself some flashers. I'll see you out in the water. This is Kel Kellogg signing off. <laughs>